I'm wondering uh, how that matchup is going to go of that Viper uh, versus Terrorblade as well with that AA, right? Not the support that you're usually looking to uh, give you the best overall lane as uh, the players are running out on the map here. Getting ready to hunt some runes. Black but, uh, yeah, I'm very boy. curious how Frank's game goes because I see Michael on this Mercy and I just think, like, hmm, this looks really bad for Gardic. And, they, yeah, they might be dodging. Yeah, they've got to. That that lane in and of itself is really tough. Tally already up there on the top side. They have wards down. They don't want to reveal. So the vision game is going to be really important here. They spot the Marcy heading up to the north. And don't know if they're going to be able to catch that ward or not. Gardic already showing. Dude, is he going to get this D ward? Oh, Gardic, he has an idea. He's that big old brain. I mean, it's one of those things, right, where he spotted the Marcy heading up, and if he can sort of triangulate the position, oh. he's going to drop the sentry. Oh. Dude. Oh, oh, oh he's going to oh. do it. He got it. <laughs> nice. You see the ping as well from Vitaly? He was like, it's right here. Nice. It's, it's here. Yeah. That's so the good. Begins. Well played. Well played. Oh, Michael does get to the rune first, though. Let's do a piece. Okay. So they haven't shown the Terrorblade, and they haven't shown the Enigma, and they're going to come to lane up here and be like, oh, you're uh, you're not the guy. Oh, yeah. and Leo Styles, I don't even, yeah, because Parker's playing the Kunkka. He's going lane versus the TB. Oh, yeah, this actually looks pretty good. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, that was the, the Leo Style Classic for a while. Yeah. Um, forgotten about that on his, uh, his Morph lane. So cool to see him bring it back in. The question is, how does that matchup go against the Ember? You would imagine that Ember, at least for a little while, would have a pretty good time last hitting, but hasn't been able to hit one yet. <laughs> They're both getting, having a bit of a rough time with the first wave. Man, get warmed up, you know? First game of the day. They didn't get their chance to get warmed up, I guess, for Hokori, right? Had a well, slight True. warm up. Didn't quite get the, the whole thing through. They practiced the lightning stage, at least. Yeah, yeah, they got that far. <laughs> We'll have to try it again here. But yeah, the, uh, traditionally, this was a counter pick in the mid lane because uh, you have the really high armor on the hero, and so all his physical damage doesn't concern you all that much, and uh, his damage doesn't come that bursty. It's mostly over time sustained damage, and you can yeah. manage that with the uh, with the attribute shift and a bottle. So yeah, it's a, it's a good reason for it to be counter. You also get the faster levels on Morphling, which is great because he can play in that more uh, aggressive role with the morph. It is something that's been nerfed over time. They they really hit those first cooldowns. Like now it's 140 uh, when you're only level six. So that part's a bit rough, but it just means you will get to those higher levels sooner. Continues the pressure down bottom. Gardic trying to take down Affliction, but can't quite get there. A little bit of lag. I felt that one too. And hopefully they will uh, get ready to go back underway again. Sir, we just had a bit of a sneeze there, you know? True. Someone just finished like uh, one of those triple cavern crawls at once, you know, oh. and, and unlocked three categories. It was like female support, <laughs> uh, no nose, and uh, played a game of Phoenix. You know, I like it. there you go, boom, boom, boom. By the way, okay. I am a little upset that Phoenix doesn't count for the uh, female hero because then our female support, because then I would get three categories right now. Well, you know, we all have something in our life that hurts us, Trent. And yes. <laughs> And mine was trying to win a game of your Ven with your Venomancer. So I know. You go. It's, it's yeah. a tough life. <laughs> tough one to live. Uh, good laning stage so far. Kunkka, Morph sitting top of the charts. And the main one that's sort of fallen behind a little bit is this Ember uh, in the mid lane. We'll see if it continues to be a bit of an issue. But if Leo Style keeps stacking up these denies, he's not going to have a good time. Already half a level behind him. As is supposed down to the low ground, actually. Keeping Michael alive, that was kind of nifty. Yeah, Leo Stell's finally getting pressured a bit there. He was just sitting max agi for all those denies, as you were saying. And oh, we got that one. <laughs> all right. Yeah, seven denies. Yeah, keep laughing at him. Keep laughing. This is a really good time for him. Definitely. Uh, Lumiere's game went great, though, right? Being down the spawn lane on the Terra Blade, got the matchup versus the, the Kunkka, which has its own issues, but still, I'd say that's better than Viper Marcy for this AA. Like, that would be a total disaster. Yeah. Can make use of his armor at the very least against the Tidebringer spam. 
It's yeah. mainly Gardic that's the one that sort of needs to play carefully. And up Ooh. top, Delio Core oh! turned on, brought down. Michael! The turn from Michael. And Vitaly might also be in some trouble here. Oh, so my. They got the punches. Frank from downtown and the tip as he starts to die. Gets a oh. double kill on that morph down bottom. Parker dying to the illusion, but will manage to survive through it. They almost got Lumiere at the same time. Almost got both of the, the side lane cores. What a turn from Michael. First the toss of Theolcor to get him off of Frank, and then the rebound back off of Frank for the double stun and giving Frank movement speed for the chase down to the tree line. Just absolutely perfect play from Michael. Yeah, that's what you want to see. They almost got a connection there from Thelio Core on the clockwork, but won't end up happening. Moves on in and wants to pretend to be body blocking. There is already a sentry ward down in that camp, though, uh, which is blocking already. Classic. And Analog forced to head out of the lane on this Ember Spirit as Affliction taking some more punches, gets the D ward, walks away, though, and tries to get this pull. Is it going to happen? Yeah, he pulls it. Nicely done, nicely done. <laughs> uh, but Analog made the way on over and was able to get the bounty rune um, before Michael made that move. And that gives him a little bit of a better time. Vitaly up top again, getting gone on. A couple punches coming from Frank, but a good Cogs pushback. Not going to be enough, though. The combination of the sidekick and this poison attack is just devastating. And... Heliocor getting chased through the trees. They find him with the rebound, couple more punches, and Frank is just having himself a game. Yeah, it's all well and good when you're playing as an Enigma and you're like bringing the wave under the tower and stuff because of Eidolons, but if they can just dive into the tower and kill you anyway, then you've just got a really big problem because now you're just taking tower damage. You know, you're missing CS because it's under tower, and oh, there goes Excel. Yeah, maybe they can get Lumiere though. Doesn't have a Tidebringer, does a little bit of weird pathing stuff. Does still have another round of phase boots, though, so Lumiere is going to fall. Parker making some solid moves on this Kanka. As they're finally on the board for Hikori. Nice mid lane, yeah. A little bit of damage on the ammo, but alright. Gildacore gets caught out here in the Radiant Ancient as he's on a warding mission. So they might know that he just got one up there on the pillar. So I can be keeping an eye on uh, what's happening there in terms of the overall farm. Michael might save that uh, sentry. We'll see. But the six minute mark is here and getting into position. Gardic is going to secure the bottom one and it will spawn there. Gets the arcane. Yes. So, first rune luck going the way of Infamous as Parker goes down. Dude, there are a lot of tips going around today. <laughs> Everybody was tipping Vitali. Now they're tipping the Kanka. You gotta set the tone, right? As Excel will run into Analog in the river as up top. Well, they're trapping Frank into the tower. And this is a big kill. This is a streak for him. Frank, level five, battery assault, chase down, wants to get him. Couple more punches, it's gonna be enough. Nice a hand good over chunk there. of gold back to Vitaly. And, well, the tip's now going the other way for Vitaly. Yeah, there you go. Teammates are giving him the friendly ones there. As Gardic gets caught down bottom, though. Dude, still have a toss still... back. Yeah, they got him. What a bloodbath. TP? Oh, wait. Oh, oh, one more. Oh, oh my God, he gets away. Dude, that ring of regen. I so actually good. thought he was so dead. Let me see how low he was. I wasn't even, oh my God, actually one HP. He got, he Dude, was. the ring of regen, I'm telling you. Yeah, he was at 43 from one hit and then he regened one HP and he took 43 damage and was left with one HP. Beautiful. Well, Lumiere. He is not going to survive that initiation. And the boat even going to get thrown out. Dude, what is this pace that we're seeing? It's seven minutes, nine kills. Every time we look somewhere else on the map, hmm. it's another hero dying. You know, maybe they've been playing a little bit of turbo for Battle Pass as well. Apparently. That's what it's feeling like right now. They're just into the lane, playing aggressive. And Michael, just no fear at all. He moves through this territory. And they're going to bring Lumiere right back down. So enough farm to keep Lumiere here, but must be a little bit worrisome to be down here, I would think, for this TV, considering all that nice, dire side jungle farm. Like, is this where you want to be right now? I mean, yeah, it's a tough question, right? Like, because you still have to deal with... I mean, I guess eventually this would be the timing when you might bring a carry down to try and take that tower, but I don't think he's going to be able to take the tower against Parker. Jumps in. Michael, a little bit off the mark. 
Goes for the dispose. The Leo Core gets the pushback. And Leo Style not going to be able to do anything else there onto the clock. So we'll see where they go next. But yeah, I agree with you. Um, I'm just watching Lumiere. Lumiere, man. He's just he's just running back and forth. Yeah, he's not having the. I mean, still sitting very high up on the net worth. If there's at least something to sort of hang their hat on, it's that. Yeah, I mean, Parker is, like, pushing it in. He's by himself, though, so... Yeah, I guess doesn't really want to be too close to... Uh, or he doesn't want to let anyone get out of that uh, that tower range and start, like, chasing him down or trying to fight him or something. He's up top. There is a chase down. First Excel is going to drop. Dispose from Michael onto Vitaly, but they'll just turn off the Olicor. And Michael's still going to take some damage from these Eidolons. Isn't going to be enough to bring him down quite yet. Ooh, just the movement speed to get out. But more action across both of the map. Leo Style forces back analog again. And we're back to holding position. Interesting for Parker going straight into the BKB and even bought an extra Blades of Attack on the Kunkka. That's kind of cool. Maybe, maybe he was thinking uh, Falcon Blade or, or Iron Blade and he just changed his mind, I guess. Yeah. Or maybe he'll just get it eventually anyway. He could also just eventually build into the Chrysalis. Silver Edge yeah. is always pretty solid. Yeah. But whatever the case is, it's some nice extra bits of damage. So well, now again, you have someone like Michael who's just uh he's just trying to figure out exactly like where where am I useful right now as Marcy because all of his cores is kinda of chilling the thing. So he comes to contest the top rune and he's dead for it. Yeah. Classic roaming player. So what am I supposed to do, guys? All my cores are just happy hitting creeps right now. I, I don't have a purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Dies. It's the way of it. Dyer's top tower but I did get the DD room taken away. So that's the nice part of it. And uh, to be honest, for Ember, it did kind of feel like he needed that one. <laughs> as he had yeah. been bottom of that uh, net worth chart for a little bit in terms of the cores. Makes the move over, analog, throws out one, chains onto the wyvern before level six. Affliction gonna get dropped here, and it looks like Kakori are done messing around, ready to take the bottom tier one tower. Yeah, they even have the tome there on clockwork, so. Uh, unfortunately, didn't get him to six. He's got a little bit of XP here before he's gonna be ready for that. And is sitting around the outpost now, looking to see if he was TPing. He might find Leo style. Oh man, if only, if only he'd gone a little further, he would have seen Leo style at no HP. But he's gonna kill this camp with that beautiful new battery salt. Now he's got level six. That's ah, so hard to do anything. Oh, that ward too, ah! Maybe he'll come back. <laughs> yeah, they need level six on, on Gardic, I think, for it to really work. And in the meantime, Affliction is gonna die down bottom. Didn't so just both die of down the tier here? one towers go down. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Playing some Wyvern, you know, this is uh, what the hero does best. Oh, Leo style. Oh, Leo style. Gardic uh, is so close to six. If he if he waits here for Gardic to finish this off, they can make some type of a move, but spotting him now. Chasing. Vitaly there. Black Hole drops it immediately, and that is enough. They don't even need the AA. Yeah, that was perfect. Just get him uh, as soon as he stunned up there. It took a second just to make sure, like, yeah, definitely not attribute shifting. All right, cool. Black Hole can actually kill people again. And now they have AA Blast. So, Hikori, this this is their time to shine. Yeah, they can actually just, like, slight Bola and throw an Ice Blast on someone here mid. I don't even care if it's Morphling. I think if you just remove, like, this Wyvern and, uh, and she's not able to stay here and defend this tower, I think that opens up a lot for you. Now, the one problem, there is going to be a 12-minute, yes, that's right, 12-minute BKB on Kunkka. Uh, and that might get them to not want to chase that much further. That is very early. That is a big old wall of an item. That is true. Uh, it is a 90-second cooldown, though. At this point in the game, it's kind of intense. Like, every 90 got seconds. In. Oh, Finds got him, him again. Ice Blast down. He's dead. Leo style dropping so quickly. And well, able to get a cleanup onto Gardic, but not before he already did his job, and now chasing down affliction. 
had already used the winner's curse, so they'll be able to find him there. Good chunk of damage. Hits the torrent, though, on round two. Tries to run it away. Parker right on top of him. Analog hoping to escape. And he might actually do just that. So he gets away. Vitaly starts to fall. A two for two. But more importantly, another death for Leo style. That was the, uh, the worst case scenario. This is exactly what we were like. Ah, well, I mean, they got the kill with the AA, but like, you know, surely they won't just get it again. And then uh, they did on uh, Ember went down to three HP. So it was, wasn't one this time. It wasn't nearly as cool, unfortunately. But uh, Parker's still holding that BKB, drives his back. Uh, and now, what do you want to do with that, though? Dyer's like, mid's already taken on the tier one. Parker's circling up top. But can you really push that tier two? I mean, you have a Morphling, to be fair. But he's also so vulnerable right now with that Ancient Apparition that I, I'm not sure how willing Leo Style is to join. This feels kind yeah. of awkward for Infamous to pressure with. Yeah, I agree. Um, does it really change things? The plus side is there's no black hole for 50. They find Parker. Gets a good cleave out. Tries to jump away. Parker pops the BKB, but the Ice Blast is on top of him. The slight bringing down his HP continuously. And did you get a decent Winner's Curse? The Mier moves on in, starts to kill Michael, gets that finish. But with no Kunkka in this fight, Hakori are just going to clean up. Affliction tries to run away. Analog can't get the chains as it was still on cooldown. But a two for two and likely another death here. Infamous losing heroes. That's not the BKB reveal they wanted. No, he, he didn't pop until he's about halfway uh, out of his HP, and then the ice blast came in, so I had no choice but to just retreat there. And like you said, kind of just made the fight very easy for Hokori at that point. TV gets to do his job. Uh, Clockwork and uh, Enigma willing to throw the body in there, make it well, good and worth it for them. Now Analog's even going to farm up near their, uh, their triangle there. As it looks like they had blocked this camp ages ago. And they just never farmed it on Infamous, apparently. Interesting. Well, that's the way it goes. I uh, think, there is uh, a lot of vision there across that mid lane, by the way. Uh, you can see when they, they did that invasion, they didn't uh, get the best kills because of it, but that is a wall of wards going right down the middle of the map here for the Radiant. So moving back into that territory when the curse is back and with the BKB should be a strong option for them. Well, and they're trying to make a move now. Affliction wrapping around. If they spot him on this low ground, he's going to get mega kill. Does have a ward in the area. And Lumiere just runs right into him. Hook shot off the mark. Reflection still keeping vision on him. And he is left all alone. Winter's Curse does some good damage. Might actually kill off this Enigma. Vitaly barely survives, dude. What is it with Akori and just living on nothing? Uh, they're, they're showing you the, why the stats matter, I guess, huh? You know, he's got those yeah. two branches. That, that's what it is. Unreal. And what's... And again, uh, ooh, terribly. Look, 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 ooh, ooh, he's scary. He's got himself a, a full-on Dragonlance finished up. He's going to go into that Scotty next. He's a big guy. Yeah. I, I think that, again, this, this game goes later and later. If, Kunkka's not scaling, and you can see here, Theliocore trying to force him to pop the BKB. He is going to have to do it. Theliocore, I, I mean, is this, this, gonna this work? is, I think, okay. I think this is worth. And now, Parker, after having already popped BKB, he's getting chased down by Analog. The damage, it might not be there, but he's looking to kill him off. Couple more hits. The no. chains, it's out. Oh. Analog, remnant in, looking for him. Just off the mark, no, we can't get it. Parker gets away. But still, that doesn't feel good as a Kunkka. No, I, I'm totally fine with that play uh, by the old core. Just go in there, make him pop the BKB, because again, it's, it was a 12 minute BKB. It's now 17 minutes. He's already popped it twice. Down to the seven, soon it'll be the six. Gonna be making that first Roche fight just harder and harder for him. It's a pretty big right. difference, you know? Compared to that yeah. nice fresh BKB at the initial Roche. Oh my god, look at this man. Dropping his Manta to get mangoed by Theolacor. Now that's a support Love player. It. Love it. Now time will tell how this one goes, but it's starting to look pretty solid. Ooh, specialist array though. That Hook is a shot. nice one for the Morphling. And tries to get out of there. Flick shit. Gets the best movement speed, but it's not enough to get him away. Frank. 
able to sidestep that ice blast. Zoning ice blast. Just a, just a zoning ice blast here. No easy, worries. Easy. Yep. So, uh, how's Leo Style doing? Because ever since he died twice, he has been AFK. Well, more like AFC, away from combat. He, he has just yeah. been farming it up. Away farming creeps. I need another K word. <laughs> Something. <laughs> yeah, we'll get the. I'll, I'll figure it out later. Don't worry, buddy. No problem. Um, yeah. We'll be waiting for it. I'll yeah, bated breath. All right, here we go. We got the Blink Dagger done for Michael, though. Blink first, Marcy. Interesting. Um, why? No say. She just gets away by the creeps. Save somebody from Ice Blast, maybe? The Elio Corp. He's going to get killed. It's the only thing I can think of. Because that is one thing, right, for Hikori. They're going to be trying to do a lot of, like, you know, jump one target, single target lockdown, and then into Ice Blast. You can get Leo style away from an Ice Blast. Suddenly, he can play Dota again. It's so unreliable. If, like, if that's your save, though, like, it's, what, 275 throw? <laughs> oh, no, it's not, it's not great. Like it hit yeah. It's not great. I mean, is the BKB that bad this game? And he's going eighth or two? Really? I mean, I, I don't think we've seen a Marcy do this. I feel like they've all been phased with BKB in our games, right? Leo Style's dead again. They got him mid. Hook shot into Ice Blast, and they clean up. Natalia, the one that gets credit for the kill. That I mean, your Morphling is now 1, 3, and 0. Not great. Uh, but yeah, he's been doing this build every time, it seems. So sometimes he goes blink into the BKB, but I, again, very, uh, very curious. Not, not my personal favorite right now. I feel like the, uh, with the, the, you know, we talked about it before, but the stun being moved off the dispos means that this blink dagger timing is not nearly as strong as it was before, and it feels like the damage you're getting out of the unleash is really like the big part of the victory right now. Like having the BKB and just starting to punch through someone, you can maybe force a black hole. You could probably just chase down Gardic and start yeah. uh, bullying him in these engagements. I don't know. Oh, totally. Seems strange. Well, we'll see if it pays off for him. I mean, again, you dodge one Ice Blast and give Leo Style a better time, it might all be worth it. Infamous, they nursed that DD for so long to set up to get Leo Style this Aegis. So DD, sidekick, ready to go. And Thelio Core looking for the hook shot in. Does he go for it? Comes a little bit off the side and Affliction able to body block it. So Leo Style moves in cleans up he did get hit by that ice blast actually yeah but ends up being fine that was a great positioning though um from excel make sure it wasn't gonna get caught out there and is gonna find leo style here actually roots him down but he is able to uh to morph out there <laughs> and then the runaway but look the blink, blink he finds him he couldn't do that with bkb trend no <laughs> Adios. On board. Well, 16 to 16, very even in this game, but an Aegis on Morphling is a little bit to the favor of Infamous at this point. But what can they get out of it? All the tier one towers are taken. Bottom lane, Akori were able to take that tier two with Vitali and have now taken over the outpost. And the ping comes for this top tower, it looks like. The thing that I'm seeing right now is um, reliable team fight is becoming stronger and stronger for Hokori. As like we have the Blink Dagger on the Enigma, eventually he's gonna get into that BKB, and then you're just essentially trying to get a curse play to try and stop it from the Wyvern. And uh, that's all gonna be set up by hook shots as well. Plus you have the Ice Blast. Like when you have BKB, Blink, Black Hole, and Hook Shot, it gets a lot easier to hit your Ice Blasts. And you think about how Kunkka works with that rum, and everyone starts getting low and low. Sure, maybe they're living, but if they just get zinged by that thing. Oh, meanwhile, in the tree line, analog. Yep, so runs right into the ember. But this is still a big wraparound coming with three. They don't have Vitaly with them. Lumiere is also on the other side of the map. But it looks like they want to get set up for this. Gets a D ward on that sentry. They spot Radiant's that there's a ward up on the high ground, and it looks like they are just going to give up that tower. 
So instead, Hakori decide don't need to claim the objective or try and counter push. Just farm out the map. They're going to feel good going later. Yeah, I feel forward. pretty confident about that as well, honestly. The little Especially course with, like, is everything. The uh, the Scotty time is going to be so much better on the uh, the TV, right? Like it, it's done, it's in there. Uh, the morphling is just going to be a while, so I feel like that's all. Every range carry is like, but when do they get a Scotty? Then then right. I feel strong and I can fight. Well, they uh, are still a ways away from that one for Leo style. Parker also trying to get towards this AC. Could switch up the build still if you wanted to, depending on what you've seen. There's always that big question when you're dealing with TB as Kunkka. Do you go the magic build? Do you go more physical? And for now, at least, he's queued up and ready for the physical build. Michael is really hunting. So yeah. he's basically just trying to catch people being a little bit too greedy in their moves with this blink dagger he's just constantly like blinking ahead and rebounding off his allies so that they get that movement speed and he's just looking for a quick dispose like maybe he doesn't get the stun from the rebound because of the way he's playing it but he's trying to enable his his kunkka and his morphling to just get that one stun that can get them to kill because i mean we have an aa who has no defensive options a clockwork who would have to just straight up hook shot away uh even the enigma if he has them before the blink he, you're going to be forcing bad spells in bad situations. So I, I can see why this works. Yeah. Still not my favorite, but I, I get the concept behind it. Heliocore cutting waves here. It's going to try and jetpack out. Goes for the TP away and is fine. The bottom lane has been consistently pushed in by the Enigma. Now the tier 3 tower is down to half HP by virtue of these Eidolons. While oh. simultaneously they're pushing in mid. So... You can see there's some good decisions just to dodge out this Aegis while they've got it. A minute left. Yeah, that's all they'll be waiting on. Uh, you know, they still have the outpost as well. That was taken in the Radiant yeah. Jungle. So they're, they're gaining some map presence throughout all this as well. And what, uh, what is up with Analog? He is almost into a Maelstrom. He still has his 9-second BKB. Uh, the BKB from the Enigma is also coming very soon, too. And he's considering yeah. the Eye of the Vizier, which, uh, I mean, that's, that would be quite a hefty cost to your mana pool with 100 mana on Wraith Factor, I gotta say. I am also surprised that they put the Specialist Array on Ember instead of on the Terra Blade. I think he just wants it for the stats. Right, but, like, your next attack fires projectiles at two additional targets for Terra Blade. <laughs> I mean, that like, is good. That's so much damage. But like, you know, I guess it's a a, happy Akil, item. Akil is definitely better for like just sort of straight up regular farming stuff. But I feel like in these fights, specialist array, I mean, that's so much extra damage. I don't know. We'll see. So 25 minutes in and well, Let's let's hope that the lag is not something that uh, sticks around. No, thank you. We got we got to hit some hook shots and some black holes here. We can't have any lag happening. Now, True. do you think Leo style uh, do you, should they try and force a high ground with this Aegis? Because no, I don't think so. Is he getting ice blasted? <laughs> AA is missing. <laughs> I am scared. Right. I mean, that that is a decent question. I mean, it could be worth it if they like find a good pickoff to just test it but i think that at this point because of where the waves are they they aren't in a position to do it no they're not that's the problem and in fact the waves are it's kind of insane where the waves are to be honest like we had that uh that great play from from clockwork where he did the uh battery salt jetpack that was actually one of the first things i tested when this change happened was i was thinking like if i like if you're smoked as clockwork you can just kill an entire wave without mm -hmm. anyone noticing theoretically you kind of get your blur factor on and now with this idea of doing the battery salt and the jetpack away and just uh, and killing the wave like that. Very interesting. Yeah, it's a cool uh, concept for sure. God, game is just dead even. Taking a look at where we're at in terms of win probability. It's uh, very, very close, but a slight edge right now to Hikori. And I think it, again, just gets back to this idea that we're talking about of morph there's an answer for it and right now from infamous there is not really an answer for terrorblade 
the, ter- the answer for terrible is kill everybody else and then deal with the terrible at the end yeah or hope or hope that like frank can start zoning him back or like somehow excel gets a really good curse i mean to be fair excel does have grove bow and blink curse so that is gonna be a lot of damage yeah it's true um yeah and i guess that the winner's curse uh i always just think about it just because of how much armor you've got on tb and the potential for a bkb sunder turnaround dude vitaly's insane i can't believe he stayed around for this wave as well and he kills the flag bear creep. He's a monster. He's, gonna, he's just cutting this all, huh? Only the yeah. catapult's gonna survive. I think he has uh, just about BKB also. So the triple BKB timing that uh, they're gonna have on Hakori looks very good to me, and it's gonna be right around the time this age just expires. It might even be around the time when the Roche spawns too, because he's almost done on Lumiere. Yeah. Well, for Hakori, or rather for Infamous, the plan feels uh, very much as it has been. Try and dodge fights once the Sages is down and then head on in and eventually try and take the pit. Parker misses the wave a little bit on the Kunkka, pulls it in for round two. I'm almost done with that AC. Are they really going to try and pull back a Cory to base? They're setting five heroes over here. I think they're just going to try and get this tower. And just take it off the map. I'm watching Excel, though. He got flared, I think. I, I look like they saw him on top of this pillar. Oh, now he definitely got flared. He has to blink away. Yeah. I mean, this is the triple BKB timing right now. A Cory want to fight. I think Infamous need to get the hell out of here. Ooh, Smoke the lines up. are being drawn. Yep. With four, they're trying to scout. Oh, they there's so much pressure. People. Dude, they, I mean, they see all of them. Yeah, They've the got to see the away. They, they, they yeah. essentially get scared off because of Flare. Yeah. yeah. yeah that they instantly start them. saying, like, uh, let, let's go let's go smoke at them. Like, let's go sit in our triangle. They're going to come over here. Yeah. I think you take this fight, though, if you're Hikori. Yeah, they re-smoke re again. Smoke. They do not care. They just want to fight. They need to give Theolcor a good angle. His death doesn't matter. Like, like they know what they're doing. He's just sitting high ground right now. Parker, they're right there. They spot him. Get their one. Pulls him back in, but the call to push back Leo style gets a little bit of separation. Where was the rest of the team? They saw Parker right there. Tried to go for the... The Ember, or rather the, the Morphling. It's just too far. That, I don't know about that one. I mean, that, that's all it is in the end, right? Like, they uh, they got kind of greedy, like, just going up the high ground like that. They should have just gone on Parker. If, if you're dedicated to that at that point, I feel like you just Ice Blast Parker. And just Yo. try and get the kill with a Chain Stun or something like that. Because that was... I mean, it, in the end, it's just not a good fight to take. Like, yeah. once you pop on the low ground like that, the real play was probably backing up. But like you said, they were very determined to make something happen right there. We'll see uh, where they end up going now, but that was the BKB reveal and first usage for Analog. Not necessarily what they were hoping for. And Infamous able to dodge away from what could have been a pretty rough one for themselves. Lumiere Roger was Corey, burning the still whole time, strong. though. Yeah. You know, he, he was getting, getting his gold on there, and now Excel gets caught right away. Finds Affliction. Mega, mega dead. Looking for more now. Frank. Get some separation, slowed down by the reflection, pops his own BKB, and is just gonna TP out. So Alright, now he's not one of Rose, test. right? Wyvern dead, Viper TP'd away. Rose timer will be though. 243. Ooh. It's gonna be a finely aged Roche by that point. Oh yeah. Well, still very, very even. Infamous get back together and they do not want to give up what they think could be an Aegis right now for themselves. So they smoke up with four. And I mean, similar to what we saw last time. If you think about it though, like if TV's not here, this is a humongous like, the one sided fight, right? Like he has so much of the value of Hokori. And he takes yeah. a second to get there. But they're, they're going in pass. They might actually find Lumiere Michael. first if they get the right angle. 
They spot instead. They throw out the torrent. See that nobody's there. Michael kills him off. Off just off the ward. Connection for the moment onto Parker. Forced to pop his own BKB. The Scotty keeping control over him. The slowdown is there, but Morphling up on the high ground. Hasn't popped the meta yet. Needs to wait. Leo Style turns over to the side. Parker chased. Lumiere is just on his case and got him caught. A ton of trouble there. And still hanging on to the black hole. Leo Style, after he's him. in trouble. He's got to get the hell out of here. Vitaly's after him. Everybody chasing. Leo Style jumps up to the high ground. Do they have enough to catch? No. They can't get him. He's actually just out of mana on analog. He had the slide, he had the ball up, but just no mana left in the tank. And something must have been breaking Vitaly's blink dagger. But unfortunately for Hikori, the bad luck with the Roche. That fight started off so strangely as well. Like you said, he's just like marching through the river. Lumiere is just this complete and utter raid boss that they don't have a way to deal with right now. He didn't even pop his BKB. Yeah. That's a serious problem. I mean, a courier they have so everything. Strong. What do they even use? Ice Blast? Ice Blast and Meta? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not even one of those situations where you can be like, oh, nice. They won the fight, but Roche didn't spawn. So now we're, we're actually ahead because they used the big cooldown. It's like, well, not really. Like, Meta's back. It'll be 40 seconds. Maybe if they're instantly into the Roche pit, that could be something for them. But it still right. doesn't feel that great. Full that's butterfly, butterfly completed. Yeah. He is humongous. Get some vision down up on the high ground. It's going to deward that, though. The, the, the avenues that I feel like they have to deal with this at this point are few and far between. And infamous through a combination of decisions <laughs> and everything else have not so. been able to get themselves set up to fight against this Terra Blade at this point in time. So Teolacor just accidentally hooked the Eidolons, but it was actually a uh, an illusion that they were rebounding to, uh, to oh, try okay. and make it look like the real one to bait spells. So the plan did work, especially like he would have gotten that hook shot and maybe analog like panic black holes or something. Right. That could have been pretty bad. I wonder, so like this build that we're seeing Parker go for, He's going AC, he's got the Halberd, going into the Silver Edge, yeah. and like pairing to that together with the sidekick. I wonder if it gets to the point where like eventually he does start to do enough to Lumiere, but I just think he's got too much armor. And it's also just a matter of range and like kiting and just like the actual fight and how it plays out. Right. Like getting on top of Lumiere is not easy. Look at how little damage he did to his illusion in the mid. Like, that was one Tidebringer cleave, and the majority of that damage was just by virtue of standing in the acid spray. Oh, he can't even hit the damn thing. Evade. Evade. Like, it's really rough. Gardic gets jumped on, throws out the Ice Blast onto Michael, and will immediately run away. Gotta deal with the TB last. Kill the rest of these heroes on Hakori for Infamous. Man, that means no Ice Blast down, though. So True. Could theoretically start poking in the Roche Pit. I mean, you're versus uh, Clockwork and an Enigma, though, so that's kind of scary, but... Step lively now. Your Admiral is they're on they're thinking about He's it. He's in. He's in. Trying to bring this down. Helio Court does have Rocket Flare back up in a second, and he's going to send him in. Eidolons are there, too. This is the most desperate play Look that I've seen. Look at the angle the analog's coming from. Th this, this could go really south very quickly. Marcy jumped upon... A log pops that BKB, tries to run away. The rest of the team very far away from him. Winter's Curse even used. Does he have a way to get out of this? No. Uh, the rest of Akori's farming camps. <laughs> and Ember just went in. Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah. There's the buyback. I mean, you kind of have to because now there's no curse. So Analog has a free game. This should be just Roche for them guaranteed. Like, you should not be contesting this at all as infamous. Excel might try and do a, a blink play, but Gardic's on it. He's keeping an eye on the area. And that's Aegis and Now, do they give the Aegis to Analog or to the, the TB? Oh, they gotta yeah, give it to Amber, yeah, surely. Yeah, let's go. Got the Shard, got the Aegis, feeling good. 
wonder if they'll blast okay, the wave. Good job. Park Parker did go for the full uh, silver edge. I was wondering if he was just going to like go big item rapier or something like that. I don't know. All right, well, a slight uh, risky play there from Analog results in a uh, pretty good play overall. And uh, his streak did go to the Wyvern, so you'll take that better than the, the Morphling at this point. But uh, I am impressed by Parker's gold upkeep. Like, he's actually staying pretty close to this TB. Yeah. It's true. Well, and that's the thing that's weird, too, I guess, is he sort of needs to, I think, deal with all the rest of these heroes, which is why he's going for this, like, right-click right -click physical build. Uh, but at the same time, like, you know, it's it's weird having it in position one because a lot of times you'll see, like, the mid kunkas or what have you go for that, like, you know, Aghanim's build with the shard and, you know, even Shiva's or Dagon or something like that to deal with TV. Yeah. Uh, but he kind of has to go this physical build, so they're just in a, a rough spot. Well, this whole game is just strange because it's all about the lane pressure right now. As uh, geez, I can't believe Gardas seems to get out there alive. He puts a ward in their ancient, spots out the fact that the Leo style's in here farming. He's going to retreat. Yeah. But we have just um, Ember has remnants around the map where he's just zipping back and forth, TPing home to do uh, the, the split push. You got Kunkka doing the same thing with the X marks to the spot. And so both teams are just trying to get the other into a, uh, a really bad spot lane wise to, uh, yeah. to apply that pressure. Now we, we have the, the pressure coming in up top. You have Vitali just lurking in the tree line. Everyone's here. Yep. Parker still can't kill the illusions, even with the Silver Edge hit. Cleaving off onto the creeps. Although, if he does get that free hit onto the TB illusion itself, that's going to be a ton of damage. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Yeah. I thought it was going to be more. Dude, it feels so bad to play right-click Kunkka into Terrorblade. Oh, God. Well, I like, mean, they're slowly chipping away this Nylons, as well as the I TV. Mean, that's all they need to do, right? Like, uh, Marcy split pushing? Okay. <laughs> Hook shot. Doesn't go. Instead... They're going to throw it on in. Ice Blast Parker, he's got to run away. Thought about the chase, doesn't go for any more, but the TB Illusions, they're doing their work. They force out the Glyph. Marcy, Leo Leo Sal Sal actually, yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a Dire Glyph now used. Okay. Dispose the Illusions, but the Terrible Illusions got what they came for. Take down that Range Racks at the very least. And Hakori just... Indomitable here. I think Analog's trying to get cursed. Yeah. It's like, just, just please, you know? Make it happen. Still got a minute and a half left on this Aegis. And the Terrorblade Illusions gonna do their job. You don't need to risk it. You can just send in the Illusions, one after the other. Okay, Leo Style, though, has an Arcane <laughs> Rune and a BKB. This could be a good moment for them to try and force a fight. I think they're just gonna let it go. Maybe, okay. There's smoke. smoke. I mean, this is kind of crazy. Ice Blast though on a Parker. I don't know if this is the way they were hoping it was gonna go. The Winner's Curse doing nothing. Black Hole. Absolutely nothing, and Black Hole onto two. They move back in with the Reflection out. Morphling tries to get away, but this is at the very least gonna be Rax, if not more. Leo Style. Just has to back away. Frank getting eviscerated by these illusions. He's literally dying to illusions. Going back into the fountain dang near. Oh, God. It feels bad to play against Farm TB. They just have no answers. What a patient game here from Hokori. Nothing too risky. Chipping away in the buildings. That guy grabs himself a BKB as well, so it's a little bit easier for him to play these fights. Get a few more charges as well. He's been struggling with the uh, the remnant counts on analog too, so that's right. a lot better for him. Man. And the full swift blink done for TB. Queuing up the ags next. Oh, he's the full swift. Oh my god. He's a farmed guy. I, I actually love swift blink. I think this item is so cool. All, all the blink yeah. upgrades are awesome. Probably still a little bit broken, but that's okay. As long as everyone no, can get them, it's fine. fine. And now yeah. you can get double overwhelming blink if you have Havoc Hammer, right? 
Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah. Seven point three two. Item return. <laughs> Just the only note. God. They've uh, had this relic for a while, but they haven't dished it out on uh, on the radio. The relic? Yeah, the uh, Thomas relic. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I guess no one wants it. Marcy would prefer Ooh. the hood. Yeah, I Viper think... wants the bullwhip. I feel like, again, that's one of those things where, like, a magic build Kunkka would have wanted it, but not really any heroes that do significant magic damage in this game for Infamous. Yeah, and Excel needs the, uh, the psychic headband just in case of the Lincolns. Yeah. But, I mean, he might not be able to do anything about it anyway. That BKB. Big game for Hikori here. And, again, so many people took Infamous as... The ones oh, to be the yeah. favorites out of this. Oh man, my, my battle pass. Come on, Infamous. <laughs> whoa, I, I didn't realize I was biased. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Corey, reconsider. I, I need I all was, the levels I can get, man. I was out of town when it happened, so I can't be biased. I didn't make any predictions. I got owned. Well, 20 to 22, and are they just going to run it down another lane? I guess that they probably want to play for Oh, he again. just jumped him up top. Dude. Excel, he walked up to the cliff. He used the active of the gem, and there was just an ember sitting there. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> Poor guy. Hook shot in. They find another. Michael tries to get away. The Malefice. Ooh, Leo style. Tries to get him out of there, but Lumiere chasing with the swift blink. God. This Terror Blade is spooky. I mean, I, I don't know. They need a perfect fight, an absolutely perfect fight. And even then, I don't know if they have the tools to deal with the Terror Blade. And those perfect fights get harder and harder to find when you're dropping your gem. Because right now, they, you know, everything's dark. They see absolutely nothing. There's a little, oh, I was going to say, there's a speck of green where Viper just TP'd out from, and that, that is it. The lanes aren't pushed out. There's zero wards. They are blind. Yeah. Oh, this is one of the worst feelings in Dota. I'm just sitting here in their vision. I have no idea where Hokori are right now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. just, I got no, no idea. I'm like, I guess they're probably securing Roche. Am I right? Yeah. Well, oh, 10 Ember's seconds, bottom? and oh, Lumiere is like, I don't need to be anywhere else but right here. I'll send my illusions to do everything else. Yeah. But two Oof. minutes. It's going to be a bit. Well, all right. Well, I'm I hope you guys like farming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious if Infamous ever leave their base in the time between now and when Roche spawns. I kind of feel like they... They might feel the need to. You know what I mean? Do, uh, oh, well, yep. Apparently they the do. Is, how do you find out? Okay. Check it out. All a right, quick change that has happened. Parker has bought a sheep stick, also has the ghost sheep ship fleet talent, has given up on Tidebringer. Tidebringer, bad spell. Yep. He Best smokes, friend is ghost pops, ship now. That's the other core caught hex pull him back in torrent and dead this is a good start a good start this is the way they want it to go but they did lose the wyvern and now going to run on forward try and take down everybody but bkb tp away dude analog was he could have blink black hold that kunkka i'm surprised he didn't for I mean, maybe he just Oh. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I said analog. Yeah, Vitaly. He got a he got a blink back old. Um, Kanka. I don't know if he forgot about the timer. It's probably all it was. Because then the Kanka just would have been gone. I feel like that's worth it. Yeah, I think the only thing is like if you do do that, then you don't have black hole for a Roche fight, or whatever. You know. Yeah. I mean, he was also like on the edge in terms oh of like maybe, maybe I'm Dude. too late. Yeah. Okay. Get me out. Get me yeah. out. <laughs> Run. <laughs> Oh, jeez. And they're just waiting. Somebody from Hikori staying in here. They know this is all they need to go high ground and end this game. And the Hikor waits. It shows up. It is a refresher shard, which Roshan does not have the mana to use. Oh, well, that's depressing. What a sad guy. 
Infamous. They're in position to come and defend this, but will they be able to do it? I think the answer is no. Lumiere with the DD doing a lot of damage to that Roche. They do have that ghost ship fleet. Oh, but they found him right away. Parker jumped upon Lumiere, BKB chasing as a refresher for round two. Parker, they just try and stop the pain, but Black Hole connects onto this Kunkka. And Vitaly, he found his man. They all die. This game is looking pretty freaking over as well. Wait a minute, though. Leo Style, he can't kill it. He can't finish Roshan time. <laughs> Leo Style, no. No, Leo Style, no. Oh, the game ends as it started. <laughs> the tip. And GG, well played, is called as the mass tips come out. Ooh, Hakori, right. they strike first blood in this best of five. They do, they do, but that is the most important part of this is that it is a best of five. And this is something that, uh, again, maybe they've had a, a couple opportunities to play them in some of the tournaments, like regional tournaments before, but this is a whole other level. This is a best of five for a direct, we're going to TI. Oof. TI, guys, you know, yeah. the international, it's an extremely big. big deal. And any best of five is a lot of pressure. Um, it's a marathon. It's tiring to play through.